T-shirts are awesome, especially when it's hot outside. In fact, I would say that a T-shirt is an absolute style essential. But there's debate as to whether you should be wearing a V-neck or a crew neck. Surprisingly, there are very strong feelings on both sides of this. In fact, there's people who would not be caught dead wearing the other neckline. Today, I want to help put that debate to rest. So keep watching if you want to know which neckline is best for you. I'm Andres Perez and this is Bioman TV where people don't subscribe because they want to look good, they ring the bell because they want to be captivating. First, let's go ahead and talk about the V-neck because this is going to be the best choice if you're a stocky guy. And there's several reasons for this but the main reason is that it helps you look more muscular. The V-neck achieves this by bringing attention towards your chest and shoulder areas. So if you're a guy who has broad shoulders and especially a guy who has pecs, then the V-neck is going to help accentuate this. Meaning that if you're a heavier set guy, you're going to want to wear a V-neck because by bringing attention up here, it takes attention away from your belly. The second reason that you want to have a V-neck is that it helps elongate your neck. And if you're a guy who has a short neck or someone like me who has a long beard, then the V-neck is going to be a great way to counteract this. Because with a crew neck, it could look like I don't even have a neck to begin with. V-necks are also great for layering, especially if you have a V-neck sweater or a shawl collar sweater. If you decided not to wear a tie with your button down shirt, then a V-neck is a must to have under because otherwise with a crew neck, it's just going to look weird. In a subtle way, what the V-neck does, it helps to create that V-shape, that Adonis body, which is associated with the ideal manly shape. Let's talk about the crew neck now, because this is something that is easier to find in t-shirts, so everyone's worn this at least once. The crew neck is gonna be the best option for skinny guys, because this is gonna take attention away from your shoulders and chest, and bring it more up towards your face. So because it's bringing attention away from your shoulders, it's a good option for those who have sloping shoulders, which a lot of guys do have this problem. But really, if you have a problem with sloping shoulders, then uh, layering is gonna be your best option, which the crew neck is really good for that. The great thing about the crew neck is that when you layer, it's definitely gonna show underneath. So if you just wanna throw on a jacket over this, it's certainly gonna help stand out. But if you are gonna wear it with sweaters or other things like that, you do wanna choose some with the crew neck as well. So crew neck with crew neck. Now, another reason you wanna consider wearing the crew neck is because it actually shortens your neck, which if you're a tall skinny guy, you may wanna do this. And also, if you have those protruding collarbones, the crew neck can help you with that too. Now that you've heard from both sides, let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite by putting hashtag v-neck or hashtag crew neck below. Let's see what's more popular. If you want to know which are the best shirts to wear in the summer, check out the video below. And don't forget to ring the bell so you can be alerted of when I have new ideas to share with you.